Cuyahoga County is on the watch list and on the brink, the brink of being elevated to purple level four on the state's coronavirus risk ranking, which means the county would have the highest possible risk for community spread. And some business owners fear that this may mean another shutdown in an effort to control the virus. News 5's Jesse Schultz found people are getting prepared no matter what happens. No one is watching the case count here in Cuyahoga County more than small business owners, worried that if we were to enter the purple zone, these lights would go dark again. Perfect. All right, come on over. For Ashlyn Basic, the owner of the Lock Loft in Lakewood, everything seems to be back to business as usual. Things have been great since we reopened. And while she specializes in color correction, the color purple seems to be on her mind more and more. It's a little bit scary to think about there might be another chance that we would shut down again with cases rising, schools beginning to close. It all seems very similar to how it was in March. A constant worry that level could mean another shutdown, a burden she carries not just for herself, but her 11 employees. I want to make sure that they are able to provide for their families. For some of them, this is their only source of income. This is their main source of income for their entire household. That fear is one other small business owners are familiar with. The super electric pinball parlor in Cleveland typically is packed with people and even more pinball machines. We would have upwards of, you know, 40, 50 people showing up, you know, to play pinball with the general public here on top of that. It was, it was a madhouse. The parlor just reopened earlier this month, but Nathan Murray, co-owner of the parlor, is already thinking about what will happen if they have to close again. Very paranoid about this. Saying they'll rely on privately buying, selling, and trading pinball machines throughout the country. Selling pinball machines could definitely get us through this. Basic is thinking ahead too. A little bit of every, you know, portion of the day goes towards a savings, you know, making sure that if something does happen again, that we can stay alive and stay afloat. But still hoping officials will look at who's been playing the game the safe way and know where the spread is coming from before any decision comes. They really need to take a hard look and not just say, oh, this business, you know, it seems like they're in close contact. I think they need to pay attention to where an actual spread is happening, where cases are forming. I mean, it's just not happening here. Governor DeWine has said that a big part in the rise of community spread seems to be informal gatherings like birthday and retirement parties, as opposed to restaurants, salons, and other small businesses that already have safety protocol in place. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Now, there is some help for those struggling here in Ohio. The state just approved the distribution of nearly $420 million in CARES Act funding. Starting November 2nd, small businesses can apply for up to $10,000 in relief funding from the state to help them through this crisis. Bars and restaurants that hold liquor permits can apply for $2,500 assistance payments. Also, eligible Ohioans behind on paying their rent, their mortgage, utility bills can apply for money to catch up on payments dating back to March. As COVID